five grams every morning. Within three weeks, my joints stopped aching when I woke up, my workouts intensified, my body composition shifted. Most surprising, my mental clarity sharpened dramatically, like fog lifting from my brain. This isn't some exotic herb from a remote mountain. You've probably heard of it and dismissed it as just for gym bros. I did too, until I spent weeks analyzing three decades of research, over a thousand clinical trials from major universities worldwide, and discovered we've been catastrophically underestimating what this compound actually does. The supplement industry thrives on selling promises and bottles, but there's one compound backed by more rigorous human research than perhaps any other dietary supplement in existence peer-reviewed, published, replicated, not testimonials, actual science. Here's what I'll show you. Why your cells are energy-starved, why stubborn fat won't budge, why you're losing muscle as you age, and why mental fog is creeping in. The cellular mechanism behind one solution addressing all of these simultaneously. This isn't magic. This is what happens when you give your 37 trillion cells what they're desperately missing. We're examining the research. Your body contains approximately 37 trillion cells. Every single one contains tiny energy-producing factories called mitochondria. These mitochondria generate a molecule called ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which powers literally everything your body does. Thinking, moving, healing, burning fat, building muscle. All of it requires ATP. But here's the problem. Your mitochondria can only produce ATP at a certain rate. When you demand quick energy, during exercise, during intense mental work, during stress, your cells need a rapid ATP refill system. This is where creatine enters the equation. Creatine stores phosphate groups in your muscles and brain. When ATP breaks down into ADP, adenosine diphosphate, after releasing energy, creatine donates its phosphate group to instantly regenerate ATP. Think of it as a cellular backup battery that kicks in during high demand moments. The research is clear on this. Studies published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition demonstrate that creatine monohydrate supplementation significantly increases intramuscular phosphocreatine stores by 10 to 40 percent. This enhanced energy storage capacity explains why trained athletes see performance improvements, but the benefits extend far beyond athletic performance. When your cells have abundant energy, something remarkable happens. Inflammation decreases. When cells are energy starved, they trigger inflammatory pathways as a stress response. Multiple studies show that adequate cellular energy reduces this inflammatory signaling. This is the foundation for understanding every benefit we're about to discuss. The International Society of Sports Nutrition reviewed hundreds of studies and concluded that creatine monohydrate is the most effective ergogenic nutritional supplement currently available for improving high-intensity exercise capacity and lean body mass during training. But that's just the beginning. Creatine isn't a fat burner. It won't spike your metabolism like caffeine but it systematically removes the roadblocks preventing fat loss and muscle building. First, creatine significantly increases lean body mass. A 2022 meta-analysis in nutrition reviews analyzed 35 trials with 1,192 participants. Results? Creatine increased lean mass by 0.68 kilograms average, with 1.1 to 1.5 kilograms gains when combined with resistance training. Why does this matter? Muscle tissue is metabolically active. More muscle means higher resting metabolic rate, burning more calories while you sleep, work, or watch television. Second, creatine enables superior training performance. 
Studies show supplementation increases phosphocreatine stores, allowing heavier lifts, more repetitions, and faster recovery. Greater work capacity equals more calories burned and stronger muscle building signals. A 2017 meta-analysis in Open Access Journal of Sports Medicine examined older adults specifically. 22 studies with 700-plus participants showed creatine users gained 1.37 kilograms more lean tissue compared to placebo, with significant strength improvements in both upper and lower body. Practical application? If you're carrying excess weight and feel metabolically broken, you're likely not overfed. You're severely undermuscled. Muscle loss, sarcopenia, accelerates after 40. Creatine directly counteracts this by providing muscles the energy needed for growth and maintenance, even without increasing protein intake. We need to address the inflammation claims with scientific accuracy. The relationship between creatine and inflammation is complex and context-dependent, not a simple cure-all for inflammatory conditions. Here's what the research actually shows. A 2007 study published in Amino Acids examined triathletes who supplemented with 20 grams of creatine daily for five days before a half Ironman competition. Compared to placebo, the creatine group showed significantly reduced levels of TNF-alpha, tumor necrosis factor alpha, interferon alpha, and interleukin-1-beta in the 24 to 48 hours following the race. These are key inflammatory markers that spike after intense endurance exercise. Similarly, a 2013 study published in Nutrition found that creatine supplementation reduced TNF-alpha and C-reactive protein, or CRP, levels following acute sprint exercise in trained athletes. However, and this is critical, other studies show inconsistent results. A 2020 study published in Clinical Nutrition ESPEN examined 12 weeks of creatine supplementation, 5 grams daily, combined with resistance training in older adults. While participants gained muscle mass and strength, creatine did not produce additional reductions in inflammatory markers like IL-6, IL-10, or CRP compared with resistance training alone. What does this mean? Creatine appears most beneficial for exercise-induced inflammation and may help trained individuals recover faster. The anti-inflammatory effects likely stem from improved cellular energy metabolism. When cells have sufficient ATP, they're less likely to trigger inflammatory stress pathways. Research published in Nutrients in 2022, reviewing creatine's anti-inflammatory effects, concluded that creatine supplementation may reduce inflammatory response to acute exercise, but emphasized that mechanisms are still being studied and benefits vary by population and context. If you experience chronic joint pain or inflammatory conditions, creatine is worth considering as part of a comprehensive approach, not as a standalone anti-inflammatory agent. The primary benefit comes from improved cellular energy and enhanced recovery capacity. This is where the research gets genuinely fascinating. Your brain, despite being 2% of body weight, consumes 20% of total energy. Brain cells store creatine and deplete it rapidly during mental demand, stress, and sleep deprivation. A 2024 meta-analysis in Frontiers in Nutrition examined 16 randomized trials involving 492 participants aged 20 to 76. Results? Creatine significantly improved memory, effect size 0.31, attention, effect size 0.31, and processing speed, effect size 0.51. Effects were strongest in older adults. A 2023 Nutrition Reviews meta-analysis found creatine enhanced memory particularly in people aged 66 to 76, concluding creatine supplementation enhanced measures of memory performance in healthy individuals, especially in older adults. 
A 2024 scientific report study examined single-dose creatine during sleep deprivation. Participants received 0.35 grams per kilogram body weight before cognitive testing. Results, creatine alleviated fatigue, improved short-term memory, and enhanced reaction speed. Brain imaging confirmed increased brain creatine within hours. Most exciting, preliminary Alzheimer's research. A 2025 pilot study in Alzheimer's and dementia tested 20 grams daily for eight weeks in Alzheimer's patients. Researchers observed 11% increased brain creatine and moderate improvements in working memory and executive function. Early stage, but promising. A 2018 experimental gerontology systematic review concluded creatine may improve cognitive function, particularly in aging adults or during times of metabolic stress, such as sleep deprivation. These aren't supplement marketing claims. These are peer-reviewed findings in respected medical journals. The most persistent myth about creatine is that it damages kidneys. Here's what decades of research actually demonstrates. A 2023 narrative review published in Nutrients titled, Is It Time for a Requiem for Creatine Supplementation-Induced Kidney Failure? analyzed all available evidence. The conclusion was unequivocal. Quote, despite some anecdotal reports, cumulative evidence from independent randomized controlled trials clearly show this is not the case regarding kidney damage. Multiple systematic reviews and meta-analyses confirm this. A 2019 meta-analysis published in the Journal of Renal Nutrition evaluated 15 studies and concluded... The findings indicate that creatine supplementation does not induce renal damage in the studied amounts and durations. A 2013 study published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition examined resistance-trained individuals consuming high-protein diets, over 1.2 grams per kilogram body weight, while supplementing with creatine for 12 weeks. Using gold standard kidney function testing, 51 CREDTA clearance, researchers found no adverse effects on kidney function whatsoever. The 2017 International Society of Sports Nutrition Position Stand on Creatine Safety reviewed hundreds of studies and stated, short and long-term supplementation, up to 30 grams per day for five years, is safe and well-tolerated in healthy individuals and in a number of patient populations, ranging from infants to the elderly. Important caveats. If you have pre-existing kidney disease or significantly reduced kidney function, you should consult your physician before supplementing with creatine. The research shows safety in healthy populations, not in those with severe renal impairment. A note on serum creatinine. Creatine supplementation may raise serum creatinine levels, a kidney function marker, without indicating actual kidney damage. This occurs because creatine naturally converts to creatinine. More comprehensive kidney function tests show normal function despite raised creatinine. It's a false positive, not actual kidney impairment. The research consistently points to one specific form and dosing protocol. Form. Choose creatine monohydrate specifically. This is the form used in over 95% of published research. Alternative forms, creatine ethyl ester, buffered creatine, etc., are either less studied or show no superiority to monohydrate. Look for products using CreaPure, a German-manufactured creatine monohydrate with 99.99% purity that's used in most research studies and undergoes rigorous third-party testing. Dosing. Most studies use 3 to 5 grams daily. A loading phase of 20 grams daily for 5 to 7 days can saturate muscle stores faster, but isn't necessary. Daily supplementation of 5 grams will achieve full saturation within 3 to 4 weeks. Timing. 
Research shows minimal difference between taking creatine before versus after exercise. What matters most is daily consistency. Taking it with food may enhance absorption slightly, but this isn't critical. Practical application. Mix one teaspoon, five grams, into your morning coffee, protein shake, or water. Creatine monohydrate is virtually tasteless and dissolves reasonably well in most liquids. It does not break a fast if you practice intermittent fasting. What to expect? Initial weight gain of one to two pounds within the first week is normal and reflects increased water storage in muscles, not fat gain. Muscle strength improvements appear within two to three weeks. Body composition changes become noticeable after four to eight weeks of consistent supplementation combined with resistance training. No cycling is necessary. Research supports continuous daily supplementation without breaks. The notion that you need to cycle off creatine lacks scientific support. Start with five grams of creatine monohydrate daily. If you want faster muscle saturation, you can use a loading protocol of 20 grams daily, split into four five-gram doses for five to seven days, then reduce to five grams daily for maintenance. However, skipping the loading phase and simply taking five grams daily from day one works equally well. It just takes three to four weeks instead of one week to fully saturate muscles. Choose a product that explicitly states Crea Pure on the label for quality assurance. Third-party certifications like NSF Certified for Sport or Informed Choice provide additional safety verification. Combine creatine with resistance training at least two to three times weekly for optimal body composition benefits. The studies showing dramatic muscle gains all included structured strength training. Creatine enhances the training effect, but doesn't replace the training itself. Stay adequately hydrated. While creatine doesn't cause dehydration, it pulls water into muscle cells, so maintaining good hydration supports optimal function. Monitor your progress over 8 to 12 weeks, track strength improvements, body composition changes, and subjective measures like recovery, energy levels, and mental clarity. If you found this information valuable and believe it could benefit someone you care about, leave a comment below with yes and share this video. Your support helps spread evidence-based health information. Thank you for trusting me with your health. I'll see you in the next video.